Hello, welcome to my installation tutorial for Anime Gan V2. Uh, this tutorial is going to teach you how to install this onto your Windows machine and run it. And if you just want to quickly run a few results, you can go to the web demo that's on Hugging Face right here. It's pretty straightforward, but if you want to run it on videos or run on uh, batches, then I suggest you to keep following this video. So to start with, um, I have my own fork of the original repo, which is for windows so i'm not gonna be using this one and this one will be linked down in the description and first we want to use um anaconda 3 so download anaconda 3 if you don't have anaconda 3 and after you finish downloading it and then you just want to open anaconda prompt here and you go to whatever drive that you are using so mine will be my f drive slash tutorial so let's see the here and then we want to create an environment conda environment for anime gen v2 so i'm just gonna do this right here i already have one i'm just gonna remove my existing one to show you guys press enter and then now after that's done you just uh, gotta activate the environment here and you can see that it's activated oh and the next thing you want to do is you have to choose either one of these. If you're NVIDIA 30 series, you got to use this one. If you're not, then you use this one. So since I'm 30 series, I might use this one. There you go. Proceed. And while this is, while this is installing, you can hear, you can download the code or you can get clone if you know how to. And if you just don't want to get clone, you can just simply download the code and extract here. Um, and then, yeah, you basically extract here. And then I would suggest you to rename it so it's easier for you later on when you want to refer to this folder. So anime in V2, and you can see all these files are inside here. And uh, it's still stuck. All right, after this is done, you basically copy this. Uh, wait, before copy it, is you gotta clone this repo in CD into the base folder. We just cloned it basically by downloading the code. So, and now it's just CD into the base folder. So we need to basically get into this anime again v2 folder from our tutorial folder. So you can see here is the file directory. So you gotta type CD and then uh, anime again v2. There you go. And you'll be at the right directory. And here you can then follow up with this command pip install dash r requirements.txt. It's gonna download all the libraries that you need. And now you go to the next one, conda install ffmpeg, press enter. And after that's done, we finish setting up the environment. So next time when you close this prompt and you want to reuse this environment again, all you have to do is conda activate anime again v2 and cd into the this space folder like this. Oh, yeah. So when you see everything like this, you're, you're all set next time. And yeah, so now we cannot set up all the file structures. So we need to download these two files here. Face paint and shape oh, oh, oh. it does not work there you go i don't know why it didn't work so if it doesn't work for you copy link and put it in the address bar so you could have put this one to the base folder and this one you gotta open it and drag this and zip it so it's looks like this dot that dot that and zip it after download there you go and yeah you're basically all set for running the ai <clears throat> so now you can convert image into anime so you go into samples and inputs and you can delete all these images and then drag in an image that you want to basically run through so i'll just choose a random one here and yeah, and then I'm just gonna put it here in, in the input folder and then you just run this command. Oh yeah, you can run on multiple images by the way. So you just put a lot of images here, it'll work. So you just basically run this command and it's done, image saved.
and now I can view your results in the results folder and there you go it'll be a comparison image there you go and it'll automatically align the face so the face will always be in the middle and if the face or the head are caught, cut off in some way it will generate the that part so it may look weird if your images input is like this and you get output that look like um you get output that has like this weird thing because the image only really goes up to here you know so yeah that's all you have to watch out for and that's it for images if you want to run on videos um you basically use ffmpeg to extract all the frames so i'll, I'll show you really quick all right, so basically move the move the input video that you want to put in into the samples folder here. This one, Elon Musk. Four or five so, inches higher if, if, that, if it was current technology. So, but... Okay, I'm just going to try five. real quick. All right. Um, <clears throat> so you just put it here. And, and I would suggest you create a text file for this since it will be easier. And you open up your text file, you copy this line, uh, extract the frames, and then here we sample slash your video, it'll be elon.mp4, and then FPS, the FPS will be, you can look at, at the properties, details, here 30 frames, so 30 frames here, and then we're gonna change the video name elon and percentage 060.png and then you copy this and then you paste it into your here um oh yeah okay you need to create the temp file here my bad that is my bad temp file here and then you basically put in the comment again and then you extract all the images in that video into in, inside this temp file this temp file can be deleted after you use it you finish using it so it doesn't take up your storage space basically so there's basically an example um here so it's basically like this and now we can run through the images and then you just basically copy this line paste it here and you just gotta wait um the result will be in the results folder so you can see like each frame popping in it's i would say it's pretty fast but it's not real time definitely it's like one or two seconds per one frame so all right now that's done um you can see that it's all here so we're basically gonna put all these frames back together with the next command so here you can basically copy and paste this line here for and then you fill up basically your video name your fps and then your video name again or oh, and mine would basically just be this line simple results and then samples so i just paste this line here and then it's finished generating the video elon underscore result like this yeah that's it for this video and uh, thank you guys for watching if you have any questions uh, feel free to join my discord to ask there and yeah if you want to support me you can support me through patreon or just basically check, check out my main main video yeah thank you guys for watching